All right, let's do this. <clears throat> Just this, get ready. We're gonna record a video, boys and girls. Aloha, everybody from the YouTube channel. Welcome back to another video. As you can see, we're live right now. Everybody on Twitch, say hello to your future self. It's kind of a tradition. We do that like every single time we're recording something live. But uh, we're currently live right now and we are in the new update. As you can see, we got the auto battle. We got the repeat battler on. And one of the big topics that people have been, you know, asking and, you know, questions and confusion that's been all revolving around, you know, the update here is all about the energy. So I'm here today to kind of talk to you guys about the energy and to explain it a little bit better for you guys to understand. So you can see I have the auto battler here and you notice that there's an energy icon above, right? And instead of our typical 100 energy or 90 energy if you don't have daily pack one, 100 energy if you have daily pack uh, one activated, we have now up to a max of 200 energy. And you must be asking, yo Island, where did we get this energy? The new energy cap has been released. You are able to get to a maximum of 150 energy just from naturally leveling up your, I believe you're leveling up your account. Is that it? I think it's if you clear certain stages. Is that right, chat? Let me see here. Yeah, can somebody check confirm? I believe it's from uh, being at the max level and by clearing each of the stages, right? <clears throat> Is it all account level? I, I thought I vaguely read something. Clearing B10s was required. I believe clearing B10s were required. If you are able to clear one of each B10s, You'll be able to uh, you'll be able to uh, uh, get another hundred. Uh, I mean, uh, ten energy, right? Is that it? Yes, it's this. This this. Does this require? Does this require you to uh, to complete it? I think it actually might require you to complete it. So, so you need to craft these buildings here. So basically, when you get your account and your account is max level, you'll be able to have hundred fifty energy. From there, you'll be able to get these statues, and I believe these statues are only available. I believe these statues are only available once you clear B10. That's the, that's what I wanted to say. Because some of you guys out there that are, you know, playing the game that haven't gotten that far yet and have not cleared all the B10s, you would have not, you know, had this available yet. But by clearing B10s, you'll unlock this statue and this building. Once you unlock it, you'll be able to go into your crafting building, go to go down to the building tab, and you'll be able to craft it. By crafting each of these, you will you can see there, you get a maximum of 10 extra energy for a total of 190 energy for your account. So that means that if you are not a player that buys daily pack one, I currently have daily pack one available. Daily pack one gives you crystals every day. I believe it's 20 crystals a day and it gives you 10 extra energy cap. So I am capped to 160 with these four buildings, this one here and these other three here. I have a total of 200 energy for my account. So that's the way you're going to be able to get this. Everybody's confused on it. Everybody's wondering where you get the energy. It's by having these buildings. So go ahead and get these resources that are required. Craft those buildings to maximize your energy usage in the coming days as you continue farming with this, you know, uh, auto repeat and uh, just farming in general. On top of that, there was a question uh, revolving a little bit. Oh, it looks like my auto replay is done here. Let's go ahead and replay another one. There was another question revolved around daily pack one. So as we just stated, daily pack one, daily pack one here gives you an extra 10 energy every time you refill. So because I have a cap of instead of 190, I have a cap of 200. Previously, 90 being the cap of 100, I was able to uh, refill my energy for instead of 90 energy, I would be able to refill for 100. That would be my benefit as a daily pack one owner right is an additional 10 energy for every refill now with the new functionality of energy refresh i guess two yeah recharge energy two i guess you can say the general public has gained a benefit so instead of just your 90 energy for 30 crystals you now get 190 energy for 60 crystals so it is definitely recommended for players if you are you know trying to be you know very very frugal with your resources and you want to maximize everything it is recommended that you use your 60 crystals to uh, refit, refill your energy so that you get an additional 10 energy. For players with daily pack one, you do lose a little bit of value now. With this new change, instead of getting, you would assume 20 bonus energy, right? 10 for 30 energy, so 20 for 60, we still only get a benefit of just 10 extra energy for our refills, which is great, it's still fine. I think daily pack one is still amazing, right? I'm still gonna be getting it for the crystals and just that little bit of extra energy refill is fine, right? A little bit of a loss, but not too much. So overall, not too bad. Uh, let me see here on top of all that i think overall this update has been pretty good for those of you guys that are wondering as well i've been watching my runs and i've noticed that it's been a little bit laggier yeah if you guys are watching this video leave a comment down below right let me know if you guys notice there's a little bit more 
you know, FPS kind of lag going on. I think it has to do with my device. My device is a little bit older that I use here. So let me know down below if you are experiencing the same thing. I think with these new auto battlers, you'll realize that um, there is more functions that are currently going on on your device, right? Because it has to run and it takes a little bit more, you know, systems. I'm not, I'm not a big tech guy, right? But I think it, you know, puts a little bit more of a strain on your device. And if you don't have enough, you know, FPS, right? You can't, uh, your phone can't uh, keep up with it. You're gonna notice a little bit of a lag. See, so yeah, I'll, I'll try to zoom in here, right? It's a little bit laggier than I remembered, but I, I'll check it out maybe later. I'll try my iPhone 10 and see if there's, you know, any lag. But I think it's just a device issue is uh, all, um, all it is. Last but not least, I guess I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit. I guess we talked about, you know, how to get the 200 energy. We talked about the value of daily pack one, diminishing slightly there. I also want to talk about the, uh, the newest pack that they just released. They just released a new pack here, as you guys can see. And I'm sure you guys are wondering, is this pack worth it? It's in this, this section here. Uh, let's see here. Suggested? Is it suggested or is it... Where is that other guys? Wait. It's under efficient, right? Or is it limited? It's, it's under efficient, right? It's under efficient, right? It's under... <laughs> I already bought it. <laughs> hey, bro, it's efficient, bro. Okay? Uh, it's, it's, it's efficient. All right. So on a serious note, though, uh, we will open this up. I'll probably do a summon session for myself soon. Uh, I did get it already um, because uh, I wanted to prepare for a summon session in the future. And I thought it'd be kind of funny to get it already and kind of troll you guys a little bit on it. But this is the $20 pack. All right. Depending on where you live, though, it's the it's it's relative to where you live and the price exchanges. But it's a $20 pack and it gives you 30 uh, Mystic Scrolls and 300,000 Mana Stones. Now, I mean, the 300,000 mana stones doesn't really matter because that's just the mana stones you use to do the summons. It's just about the 30 mystics, basically, right? I think it's a good value pack. And what I will say is that if you ever are to buy any pack of the game to summon, okay? Like if you people are out there, you guys buy packs and you use your crystals to summon. If you buy any packs and you use the crystals to summon, this is a good value pack because for your $20, right? Uh, you're going to be getting 30 summons, which is going to be, you know, less than a dollar per summon. Typically a summon is average, like a dollar something to $2 a, a summon. So if you're ever going to do summons, if you need fodder, you, you, you're going to do any summons for nat five, you're going to ever buy premium packs, right? And you're buying packs. Obviously some of you guys are free to play and you guys spend your free to play crystals that you collect to buy premium packs. That's another story, right? But if you are spending the game and you are buying summons, it is a uh, very good value for the summons. And that's why it's also only limited, I believe one time per account. I don't actually think it's once per month. If it's once per month, then you know, great. But I believe it's only limited to one time per account. So if you're going to do summons, it is a good value pack for summons. Now you can buy this and get absolutely nothing, which is probably what's going to happen to me. Right. But if you're ever going to do summons, like I said, uh, and you, you value spending in the game and you're okay with spending and you have extra money to spend in the game, I think these packs are good value for summons. Um, now I'm not going to do them here today. You're going to, I'm going to save that for another video and uh, we'll see what we can pull from it. But uh, anyways, hopefully that kind of opens it up to you guys a little bit. Uh, we'll be making some videos in the future about some of the other, you know, update things that have come out as well as we will be having a podcast this week to talk about all the functionalities and we'll have a podcast this week to talk about the, um, our thoughts on the update in general. Uh, other than that though, leave your comments down below. Uh, let me know what you guys think of the update. Let me know what you guys think. Hopefully this clears up the energy issue because I've been seeing tons of people ask and I, I, it's going to be great to be able to direct people to this particular video so that they know the statues, give them that extra energy as well as the deal with, you know, daily pack and, you know, the new energy refills. But leave your comments down below, hit that like. And of course, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please do. A lot of you guys are watching. There's an analytic that tells me how many of you guys watch that are not subscribed. There is a ton of you guys that watch the videos. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you guys are coming back and you guys are just not subscribed. So do me a favor, help out the channel, support the channel, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys on the next live stream or video. Peace out. <clears throat> All right, sick. Oh, legend artifact. Oh wait, legend artifact. Eh. You know, the dream is all additional damage, but eh, whatever. All right, could have been better. Not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad. Oh, right, we take those. Oh, uh, we sold all these. This is so nice to be able to do this.